Growing up, all I wanted to do was drive horses. Uh, it was a dream of mine from the time I could walk and, and learn to jog. And I feel very fortunate that that's what I got to do for a living and, and have been successful at it. So uh, I'm, I don't feel I've worked a day in my life. Horses aren't like cars. You just can't step on the gas and then step on the brake and stop, stop, start and stop them like you would a car. And people don't understand that. They're all individuals and they, they deal with racing different mentally, all of them. But he, he didn't, didn't sound that good when he pulled up breathing. I was wondering if something's going on in there because he's getting progressively worse here instead of... Yeah, he's not getting any better. I mean, he went 54 and a piece two months ago. Yeah. I travel a great deal through Toronto, Chicago, Kentucky, Ohio, all over, pick, picking up uh, stake races wherever uh, people ask me to go, and, and that's a little tough on the family life for that period. There are certain sacrifices that we make as a family because of my schedule, there's no question about that. I miss out on some of the girls' activities that are at night after school. But uh, we compensate. There, there are times that I can make uh, events that they have that uh, other parents can't. I have no idea what I would do if I didn't drive horses. I, I just feel very fortunate that I got to do something that I dreamt about when I, when I was a kid and got to do that for a living and, and had some success at it. We all have bad streaks. Uh, it may not last for a month or so, but you always have streaks in a year where you've gone uh, 15 or 20 races without winning. And there's a certain amount of doubt comes into your mind whether you're doing the right thing, whether you were as good as you were last year. Campbell trying to move right now, but he's not going anywhere with passing gear. Three quarters in a I'm recognized uh, a great deal in the North Jersey area. The, um, harness racing has been you know, so popular here since 1976, and when I'm out, uh, there, I'm noticed quite a bit. I get just enough fame to know that I don't want any more of it. The fun part of racing horses is obviously winning. It's great to compete and be able to win. But beyond that, it, it's a business that I've, in an industry that I, I've been involved with my whole life. I feel a great deal of passion for it, and uh, it's the only thing I know how to do. First, and no one has done it better than John Campbell, Harness Racing's first $100 million man, the youngest man elected to the Harness Hall of Fame, and Gary really an ambassador of goodwill for the sport. He certainly is, Bruce, and he says that he wouldn't know what he would do if he wasn't driving harness horses. I think I know, at least partly know, he would be watching the New Jersey Devils play hockey and playing golf, maybe with you and I if we were lucky.